This renewable natural gas facility at Smithfield Hog Productions Ruckman Farm in northern Missouri was designed, engineered, and built by Raceline Alternative Energy. Raw biogas is captured from covered manure lagoons and converted to a carbon neutral, sustainable fuel that is chemically identical to fossil natural gas. It's our goal to be a game changing project. We could have looked at that manure as a problem or we could have looked at it as an opportunity. We looked at it as an opportunity to change some things from how that manure is used. Impermeable covers cap the nine lagoons at this 1,500 acre farm serving 70,000 hogs at any given time. The captured biogas is mostly methane, raw material for sustainable energy rather than a potent greenhouse gas escaping into the air. And methane, by the way, is 20 times more destructive to the atmosphere than CO2. The covers greatly reduce odor and keep rainfall out of the lagoons. So it provides a lot of benefits ecologically. Underground piping takes the biogas to a facility that cleans it of impurities like carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and water, upgrading it to renewable natural gas. The clean gas is then compressed in this adjacent system to get it ready for the pipeline. Progress is carefully monitored up to the injection point located just a few yards away. That gives us the ability to del deliver that gas to all parts of the country. What we're doing is creating that business return, but layering on top of that other benefits that make it overall a very socially successful investment. All 88 lagoons at Smithfield's nine farms in northern Missouri will have renewable natural gas systems. These projects also serve as learning centers to create systems for smaller operations. It's a game-changing project if this is something that everybody can do. So in developing this model, we're looking at not only Smithfield, but how can we take this same model throughout the Midwest and eventually to developing nations around the world. The next horizon at Ruckman envisions even more. Harvested prairie grass will become feedstock to produce additional, truly sustainable, renewable energy. I want to demonstrate an economic model over time that works, and then once we get through that, uh, get to promote this project and this process as something that is a viable alternative for certain kinds of land. What we're talking about is this marginal hilly land that never should be cropped. The project shows how using assets that are generally taken for granted as unproductive, livestock manure and highly erodible land can actually be both economically and ecologically beneficial. They can add to the bottom line of a farm operation and actually diversify farm income by putting a farmer into multiple industries. It's a paradigm shift for energy production, the environment, and wildlife. You know, we've been doing things the same way for a lot of years, and it's time that people stood back and said, you know, maybe there's a better way to do it.